morning you guys welcome back to my channel today if you're new here welcome my name is Kim and if you're not welcome back so today's Friday and I feel really good you know today's payday kids are at school I'm working from home today's a good day you know I haven't been having too many good days but today I, I feel good and I feel um, I feel like the smile is like it's a good smile so anyways I want to take you guys along with me today show you guys what I eat in a day and what I do in a day it's actually later in the day it's 11 o'clock I've been working all morning and I finally had time to pick up the camera today um, at 12 o'clock we're gonna head to Sam's Club on my lunch break to grab a couple things so I hope you guys enjoy today's video and yeah let's work for a little and we'll go to Sam's you know what we can do while we wait for my lunch break we can make thai iced coffee so we're gonna make it today i'm going to show you guys what i make it is super super easy and simple to make and it tastes just like the coffee that i buy like on the streets in thailand it is so good so I don't put any sugar in it, but it is sweet from the condensed milk. Um, so there is sugar and carbs in it, but I don't have this too often anymore. I probably will have this maybe twice a week just because I've noticed the sugar and the carbs. Um, but I want to show you guys how I make it and maybe you guys can try it at home whenever you're having like a day where you're not, you know, strictly watching your sugar or your, your, uh, your, your carbs. <laughs> So yeah, let me show you guys what I have to make it. So first, we're gonna boil some water. I have water going on the kettle here. So this is the coffee that I use. This is the coffee that everyone drinks in Thailand. Literally everyone. The Nescaf 3-in-1. There's red and there's green. This is the green one, so this one is a little bit more strong. Um, but the one I bought two huge packs from Thailand guys huge packs and I already ran out So I actually got this from Amazon. I will link it down below. It did take me a while to find um, But I found it and it's prime and it came in like two days, but um, It's the Nescaf 3-in-1 instant coffee. This is again the strong one and You know, I didn't even look at the let me see if there's nutrition facts because it wasn't Thai and I didn't know how to read it. Okay, so they do have it. Okay. Um, okay, it's not in English, so I feel like <laughs> I can find it on Google, but um, yeah, it's it, this one's not in English either. It's very weird. The, couldn't read the Thai one. This looks like it's like Russian. All right, let me just show you guys how I make it and what I use. So I'm just going to use one. I'm going to make one for now. And this is Thai iced coffee. This is what I'm calling it. Um, so you'll need instant coffee. And then you'll need evaporated milk. And then you'll also need sweetened condensed milk. And that's all you need. You don't need anything, any additional sugar. You don't need any additional milk or creamer. Because trust me, this is already good and filled with all that good stuff. Water is hot, it's boiling. So I have a huge cup of ice here. I got these cups from Amazon. I'll link everything down below as well, but it comes with like a little top. It's kind of like a Starbucks cup. You can kind of sip or you can put a straw through it. And I think they were like $15 for a 50 pack, but I've been using this um, and then to mix the coffee. I'm gonna just use one package or one pack today. And on the label, you want to put 150 mLs. I'm just going to eye that. I Sometimes I put more. That's definitely more than 150 mLs, but that's okay. And then we're just going to stir. So then I put like maybe half a tablespoon of the condensed milk in. And this just like kind of sweetens it up. So that is how much I put in. And that's it. This is already like very sweet. So since it's hot, it does melt the milk. So then I use this last, but 
You're gonna probably wanna add more ice, but we're just gonna pour the hot coffee, right? And I know this is weird, but this is what they do in Thailand, guys, and it works and it's good. But you're just gonna pour the hot coffee right into here. You wanna add more ice, which it, you probably will have to because it's gonna melt. We'll just add like this one big one <laughs> in there. Then you're gonna add just a little bit of this evaporated milk. And you're just gonna pour it right on top. And then you just put your top right on. And this is how I make my Thai coffee. I have watched maybe 50 TikTok videos on people making this, like vendors on the street and like how they make it, like the ingredients they use. And this is literally what they do. They just make instant coffee. It doesn't necessarily have to be the Nescaf. Um, and then they just use the uh, condensed milk and the evaporated milk, ice, and literally that's it. So let's taste. I did add a, um, more water than usual. So it might not be like as strong, but we'll see. Ooh, yes, this is so good. Mm. This saves me $6 a day, guys, by drinking this. And like putting it in like this little cup also makes it kind of more like exciting to drink, you know? Mm. In Thailand, this would be 20 baht, depending where you are, but mostly, most likely it's gonna be anywhere between 20 and 30 baht, which is about, 20 baht is about 50 cents. So you get a cup of coffee for 50 cents in Thailand, which here you get the same exact coffee for $6. It's it's wild, the, like, the currency difference. But anyway, that is how I make my Thai, Thai, Thai iced coffee, guys. If you try it, let me know. Again, it's not keto friendly. It's not, you know, low carb. It is filled with a little bit of sugar. <laughs> Um, in the condensed milk, but it's okay. So once in a while you can have it. Mm. It's almost 12. Oh, I wanted to show you guys my nails. Look guys, this is a fresh set of gel X nails that I did myself, festive. So I did a really bright red. I am gonna go in and add like designs. I'm thinking about like lines and maybe like snowflakes, but I don't have the time yet. So, um, and this is just one coat of gel polish. I didn't wanna do two. Maybe when I go in with the designs, I'll do like an extra red polish and then do the designs on top. But I just wanted to show you guys, like it's so, I, they came out so good. I think the key to it is like the the uh, the actual nail, like clip, uh, cuticle work and like getting the nail and prepping the nail. I think that's so, so important. I'm so big on like having my cuticles look good. So like just making sure like it's not flooded with gel, making sure the cuticles are cut. Nail prep is like good. Let me see if I can see that guys shaping is just like so good they didn't come pre-shaped like this i had to like shape them i will link everything below guys i have a gel x kit i have an extra set of um gel x nails um different shape and then i have the beetles i think it's beetles or beatless i don't remember <laughs> but it's it's a really big brand and i have like their gel one of their gel um color sets that have like 30 or 40 different colors but I just love them they're just so cute I just want to show you guys this is literally like 60 70 dollars that I save each time it is time consuming but I feel like if you have the time you have the creativity you think you can do it you're saving like 60 70 dollars every two weeks because you're doing it at home so anyways all right let's go to Sam's shopping today it's crazy lines everywhere we'll 
so hard to fill. There were so many people. Ah, it's 12.35, so I gotta get home. All right, guys, I'm back home. Just parked. Sam's was so crazy. There were so many people. It is Friday, but the lines were like crazy. So anyways, um, I actually ordered a large, well, I, it's just one size, but I ordered a pizza, a box of pizza for the kids tonight. Um, so they'll have that for dinner, but I just want to put you guys on game. Okay. If you have never ordered pizza from Sam's, order it. It is so good we usually just get like the slices but sometimes when um, I'm there and I think of it I just order a whole box because it's so cheap and it's literally like an extra large pizza and their pizzas are so good you know so like I don't know I just wanted to share that little hack with you guys their pizza is like eight dollars excuse me eight dollars for a whole freaking pizza anyways let me get inside put the things away get back to work um, I have not eaten anything yet. I've just had the Thai coffee. Um, it's 12.45, so we'll see what I make or eat to break my fast. Okay guys, back from the store. Let me show you guys quickly what I got. Um, I left the, some things in the car that can stay in the car, like water, juice, and chips for the kids. But yeah, let me show you guys what I got. All right, so I've got some country crock butter here two packs of my favorite salad. It's the Caesar salad kit. Um, I use the Parmesan and Caesar dressing. Jamal doesn't, but these are a really good deal. They're like $3 for a bag and they're huge. We've got some buffalo wings on nights where I'm not making dinner or just want wings. I just throw this in the air fryer, so good. We've got these little chicken bites um, that we will first throw in our salads. Um, they come in four. These are a little pricey though. At Costco, they were like a lot cheaper, but um, there's four. I think this was like $12, but they are grilled and they taste pretty good. We've got some avocado here. I always have a pack of raw shrimp in the fridge. These were on sale for $12 for a huge pack of jumbo raw shrimp. This I got, I used to get this pretty often, just like to eat it as a snack, but it's a charcuterie sampler pack. I like to munch these with peanuts, which I got peanuts, um, lightly salted, and they are just mixed. They're not peanuts, I'm sorry. They have peanuts in them, but they're mixed nuts. And I just like the combination of this and this, because obviously I don't want to eat crackers with this because that's not keto friendly. We've got some breakfast sausage. This is pork. These are my favorite eggs. I talk about these all the time. These are pasture raised eggs. The yolk is just so orangey and it just tastes really good. So um, I can only find these at Sam's though, but these are my favorite eggs. And then you guys have been seeing me cook. I've been using fine, um, what is it? Like fine onion. So I had to, or onion powder. So I had to get the regular onion powder instead of like fine because it's like so powdery so this is like what I need and then I saw this and I thought it was interesting um it's by Tabitha Brown and um, McCormick it's an all-purpose seasoning it has garlic black pepper and lemon and it's salt free so I want to try this I have chicken thighs so maybe we'll make chicken thighs and like use this and see if it's good and then I got cotton candy grapes for the kiddos. It is in season. I always try to get at least once or get it packed once a year because they're not always out, but they're really good, but they are high in sugar. And then we've just got some croutons, not keto friendly, but for salads. So this is all I got. Oh, let me show you guys the pizza more, but look at this. This is huge. Look at my hand. This is a huge slice of pizza. Ooh, look at that guys oh my gosh the kids are gonna be so happy tonight they get to eat pizza look, it's so big this was eight dollars from sam's it's so so good Guys, look how perfect this avocado looks. So freaking perfect. Look. Ah. 
This gets me so happy. Red pepper flakes on our avocado, and a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning. All right, guys, and this is breakfast. I have half an avocado, two slices of turkey bacon, sausage, and scrambled eggs with cheese. Oh, this is gonna be so good. This is like the definition of keto friendly. I love it, so good. Okay hey guys, it's time to make dinner. I think we're just gonna do chicken thighs. It's super easy. I'll season them, just throw them in the oven, and then later I can add sauce if I want to. Um, the family will probably want barbecue sauce. I'll probably just have mine like without sauce, and maybe like hot sauce at the end. Um, but yeah, I've had these chicken thighs sitting in the fridge for a few days now. So we'll clean them, season them up, we'll preheat the oven, and that'll be like a quick dinner. So I am gonna use the Tabitha Brown seasoning first. So this again has garlic, black pepper, and lemon. I did coat it with olive oil already. All right guys, into the oven this goes. Guys, I just took all of the chicken grease and put it in this bowl to make for gravy later, but this thing was filled with the, like, the chicken stock. I'm gonna just flip them over. They've been cooking for about four. All right guys. I'm gonna put barbecue on half. Good morning guys, it is the next day. I forgot to end the video yesterday after dinner, but I'm currently making breakfast for the kids. We have a long day today, but I just wanna show you guys what I'm making for them. Um, yeah. All right, so they get almost the same thing. Kyrie actually eats more than Micah sometimes, but they both got two sausage patties grapes and french toast sticks so we're just gonna put a little bit of syrup on here maybe a little bit on the sausage all right and this is their breakfast and i am just making my time <laughs> and i did put it in a little starbucks cup <laughs> but this is what i have okay and then it just Makes me feel like I'm drinking Starbucks. Oh, so freaking good. Okay guys, we've made it to the mall. We're gonna meet up with my friends and her kids and the kids yay! are gonna What's play. Pie. Pinna Pie. Yeah, Pinna Pie, yay. And Anya and Arlen. Yay, Pinna Yay. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> 